okay today i will discuss the baseline collection of raman data of corrosion testing on or xrd data please subscribe my channel uh, and press the bell icon so first of all we will copy the data this one and we will press this control plus shift and down key on the keyboard it will select the entire two columns now control and C plus control and C uh, to press control and C simultaneously to copy the data now paste this data into this column of the region 2015 now right click selecting these two columns and go to the plot and uh, click on the line you can see that uh, the graph is not horizontal it is uh, to make the horizontal we need to we need to use baseline correction so it is uh, like this we have to make this in the horizontal direction to make this uh, we will go to the analysis analysis and then peaks and uh, peaks and baseline correct baseline and click peak analyzer and go to the open dialog wait for few moment and uh, choose in this pop up window comes now choose there are many options to define a baseline so we click on the subtract baseline and we go to the next and now there is a baseline mode so we click on the this uh, uh, constant change it to the user defined baseline correction and go to the uh, uh, increase this one and drag it slightly to the left hand side and there is a enable auto find so remove this and uh, press add this one now put the points here click two times click two times the in a line so that it can correct click two times every two times like this now it is done 
click on the done now you can modify the po uh, these uh, points you can put them in a proper alignment because some points are not aligned so we can modify these points go to the modify or delete button so I am going to the modify button and clicking it again so we can correct some points it is it is sitting here it is on the wrong side or, ro or wrong place drag uh, press the left key of the mouse and drag it to the some unfilled positions and drag it this point also and put it here here uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, correct the position of these uh -huh. make proper alignment nothing else it is very simple mm. now again click done now go to the next and click on the spline is it is line is uh, uh, it is like a straight line this line is the uh, very flexible line so we choose it this one and uh, we make next and uh, click the finish button now go to the window and click uh, book one the day this, uh, earlier we were having this one data this one data we were having only two columns now two oh sorry four more columns are generated with uh, due to our modifications so now we will again plot this column and this column select these two columns and press right click go to the plot go to the line and press it now you can see that the base has been corrected now you can uh, drag it to the or modify it uh, you can modify the graph to modify it click it here and go to the scale and uh, I want to keep it 150 it will cut this portion and will go to this side left hand side so click apply now go to the vertical section of the y or y axis now press this is minus 1250 make it to minus uh, 250 make it minus 100 and go to the grids place opposite and apply it and 
make another grid press opposite apply and ok you can increase the thickness of the line of the graph you can select one it will be very visible it will be very visible if we do like that now place it choose it 24 and uh, you can change it is okay you can change the in increment I want to take it 300 okay I want to cut this I want to keep it I want to keep cut this portion and uh, it should be 2000 now it is nice you can cut more if you want like if you want 1800 you can cut because there is no peak P there is no peak on the right hand side so you can cut this portion 1800 ok now click ok you can remove this portion uh, you want to remove these major ticks and minor ticks click on this and go to the line and ticks make the change none here none apply now all the ticks has gone now write it intensity and write it arbitrary unit select it change the font size 28 Press the bold button, click outside, okay, drag it to the this side, and we can write it here as Raman shift. CM press here, write minus one because it is the unit of the Raman wave number press bold button ok you can change the font size of this hmm. you can make bold this one also oh, sorry here Okay, remove it. Now the baseline correction has been performed. This is the Raman data, and the baseline correction has been finished. The same thing can you can do for XRD or any data. The same process has been followed. Thank you for watching this video. I request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.